Hey, what's up guys? It's Malty, and today we're going to be talking about should we treat these little 1S batteries any different than we do our big ones? Um, when I got out of the hobby, everybody was flying the 4S. Nobody was even flying 6S yet. Everybody just converted from 3S to 4S. So when I got back in, the whoops were huge. Brushless weren't quite out yet. And uh, I was treating these little guys the same exact way I treat my big ones. And it was, uh, wasn't working out. All right, guys, now let's start with uh, connectors. Right now in the market, there's two main ones you want to see, the BT 2.0 and the PH 2.0. Both great connectors. I personally fly BT 2.0, but the other two Infinity Loops, Heads and OG, both fly uh, PH 2.0. So I don't think one's really much better than the other. Just go with what you like, find the batteries you like, and uh, run the connectors they have. Back with my 4S's, I was doing mostly parallel charging at 2C. Found out quickly, not a really good idea to do that with these uh, these little batteries. Because they're so much smaller, I feel like they're much more sensitive to the different voltages when you plug them in, because it's really hard to make sure all your batteries are exact. I feel like with the bigger batteries, you get a little bit more leeway with these small ones, they're a little bit more sensitive. So right now my main go-to was this charger here. This is a five port charger. It's basically like having five individual chargers in one. The big reason why I like this one is because it has the separate voltage displays that you see all at the same time. Now you can also go with this one over here, which is the first one I started with. Um, this one's from Beta FPV, but there's a lot of different ones out there. Look on Amazon, there's a bunch of them. These work fine, use these for over a year. I think OG is still using the same charger. So no bad things to say about it. The only thing I don't like is you can see the individual um, voltage of each cell and of the pack. Well, they're 1S, so <laughs> you can see the complete voltage of the cell. Um, just by scrolling through them. So it's just a little bit more hassle, but not that big of a deal. And what I really do want to talk about that I just got, got this from over my buddy over at uh, We Bleed FPV. This is from Fractal. This is a series charger, which is different than your parallel charger. Um, you still want to make sure your batteries are similar in voltage, but this is way safer on it. So I highly recommend you guys picking up one of these LiPo bags. They're a savior just in case you mess up or you have a battery that wants to fail, you at least have some protection that's gonna hold those flames in. They do work good. I made a mistake in leaving mine in my car. Don't do it. And one of them popped. Lipos are a lot more stable now than they used to be, but still, you do wanna respect it as a lipo. There's a lot of energy in that little pack. The thing you can look at getting that I just picked up is an ammo can. And I'm actually 3D printing little, um, like little bays to go in there that hold all my batteries. I like this for keeping at the house, just again for protection in case a battery decides to go up. All my lipos are inside of this and I keep it underneath the bench on the concrete floor. So think about lipo storage, definitely important. All right, next thing I wanna talk about is how long to leave your batteries charged. So me, another mistake I made back in the day was I would, if I charge my batteries, I wouldn't worry about it if I didn't fly for three or four days. Don't do that with the little ones. I don't leave them fully charged for more than 24 hours. If you feel like you're not going to get to it, can't fly, throw them on the disc charger, bring them down to storage voltage, and then uh, you're good to go. Also, uh, another good thing is, let's say if you're for some reason going away or flying for, not flying for a while, when you store your batteries, um, make sure to keep it in a cool place. I keep them in my basement. It's unfinished. stays nice and cool. If you guys are new and don't have a charger yet, and you just want something that you can plug in and is going to work, I would recommend getting this power supply. Either one of these two chargers and you're pretty much good to go. That's what all of us here started with. Like I said, a lot of us still running the same exact one. Plug it in, works good. Uh, the only two things you're gonna have to look at is make sure there's two different types of batteries. You have your uh, standard, and then you have your lithium high voltage. Um, if you don't have any, I'd recommend going with the high voltage. It just, instead of charging it to 4.2, it charges up to 4.35, which doesn't seem like a huge difference, but it does give you a little bit of extra punch, a little bit of extra flight time. All right, guys. Well, everything we talked about today, I'm going to leave links in the description. If there's anything I've missed, please feel free to leave some comments below and we'll get to you as soon as possible. All right. Y'all have a good one.